out of Colorado, from out of the Central Plains and into the Northern Plains. Um, this should be a relatively significant winter storm for our area. Um, we are expecting heavy snow, uh, and with uh, gusty winds that will combine with the heavy snow, should bring some uh, significant blowing and drifting snow. Um, and there is a chance to have some freezing rain with this system as it draws up uh, warm air from the south. Um, we are expected uh, pretty much our entire area uh, to get impacted. That includes uh, eastern North Dakota, west central Minnesota, and northwest Minnesota. Um, as far as timing, uh, Saturday morning uh, through Monday will encompass the entire duration from when we first start to see snowfall until uh, um, we start to see the winds die down on Monday. Uh, however, we are expecting significant impacts. Uh, after Monday or after midnight Saturday and then lasting through Sunday and even Sunday night. And those significant impacts should start to taper down uh, Monday morning uh, sometime. And then impacts uh, calling for or uh, expecting very difficult to impossible travel uh, with periodic whiteout conditions, particularly in the open country. And because of the freezing rain threat, we may have uh, some slick conditions from light icing uh, develop. All right, so we'll start off with uh, some timing and talking about our potential for snow. You can see at the graph to the or the graphic to the bottom left. That's our potential for at least six inches of snow. Uh, you can see the large portion of our area is in that high likelihood of seeing at least six inches. That includes uh, southeastern North Dakota through the Red River Valley, central and southern Red River Valley, into northwest Minnesota and uh, a good portion of west central Minnesota. Um, chances start to taper off the further north and west you go. That's kind of where we're thinking our edge of the snow will be. Um, and then we also uh, not only have that potential for at least six inches of snow, we also have the potential of seeing at least 12 inches of snow with higher uh, and highest chances towards uh, southeastern North Dakota um, and even into portions of the Red River Valley. As far as timing, uh, we will start to see snow to enter our region from the south, and that'll begin sometime Saturday morning. Um, this snow is expected as of now to be on more on the lighter side. Um, and with this uh, snow, we could have some icing from freezing rain, particularly in the uh, west central Minnesota area and into uh, locations down by the North Dakota, South Dakota border. And it won't be until after midnight uh, sa Sunday morning that we'll start to see the significant impacts develop as a uh, the main wave starts to move into our area, into western Minnesota, bringing uh, heavy snow. And then with, as the main wave starts to come up, the winds will also start to increase um, that will lead to our blowing and drifting snow. And um, there's still the possibility of seeing some light icing, again, favoring the Minnesota locations. There's still some questions on that. Um, and so uh, those significant impacts are expected to last through the day Sunday um, and even through the night on Sunday as those winds will uh, kind of linger throughout our area. Now, the heavy snow is expected to end uh, Sunday night, getting into Monday morning, but we could still have a little bit of light snow. Um, that kind of lingers into Monday morning, um, but we are expecting those gusty winds to continue through Monday, and thus we are calling for uh, some lingering blowing and drifting snow. Um, and so the impacts will be a little bit slow to end um, on the backside of the system.